Hello friends, you are watching Engineering Made Easy. I am Lalit Vasist. In last lectures, we have discussed ASK, FSK and BPSK that is amplitude shift keying, frequency shift keying and binary phase shift keying. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss quadrature phase shift keying, QPSK. It is also a kind of a phase shift keying but it is different from the binary phase shift keying. We will see how it is different and what we mean by QPSK and why it is called as quadrature phase shift keying. What is quadrature here and what is binary in binary phase shift keying. We will also see the waveforms and the basic concepts what happens in quadrature phase shift keying. Okay? And what are the benefits of this QPSK over other digital modulation techniques. So let's start. Actually, we have seen in uh, previous uh, lectures, uh, you can also watch my previous videos on ASK, FSK and BPSK. ASK, FSK and BPSK, that is binary phase shift king, that uh, in these forms, in these modulation, digital modulation techniques, they cause the carrier to assume one of two possible states. It means that if we talk about ASK, then we have two states, two symbols only. Symbol means each discrete carrier state is known as symbol. So two amplitudes, uh, either for zero, we uh, do not transmit carrier wave when we want to transmit uh, binary zero. And when we want to transmit binary one, then a continuous uh, carrier wave is transmitted. In the same way, in FSK, we have uh, two frequencies only, one corresponding to zero and another frequency corresponding to transmit digital binary one. And in BPSK also, we have two states we have only two possible states 0 and 1 are transmitted by phase shift of 0 and 180 degrees so there are two phases in binary phase shift key that's what that's why it is known as binary phase shift key so you can see that uh, in all ASK FSK and BPSK one bit per symbol is transmitted every symbol symbol I have told you that it is each discrete carrier state okay so each discrete carrier state transmits only one bit so one bit per symbol is transmitted in case of bpsk bpsk uses binary means two phases that is zero degrees and 180 degree okay to transmit bits zero and one and it uses one bit per symbol but in case of qpsk it is very important to note that two bits per symbol are transmitted okay in each symbol we have two bits so for two bits we need four phases two bits with a combination of two bits we can have four combinations okay four possible combinations with two bits like 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 so this is the qpsk in quadrature phase shift key this quadrature means we have four phases four we need four phases unlike the BPSK where we need only two phases okay so therefore in QPSK this total 360 degree phase is divided into four phase states we divide it into four so four parts 360 degrees divided by four means 90 degrees so here we have separation of 90 degrees in four phases okay so each phase is having a difference of 90 degrees with the other phase so in QPSK we use following four phases you see uh, we use uh, 45 degrees and if we add 45 degrees we have separated them with 90 degrees phases and uh, and uh, 360 degrees has been divided into four phases okay so these are four phases are 45 degrees and 45 add we add 90 degrees to it then another phase that we get is 135 degrees and in 135 on adding 90 degrees we get 225 and in the same way on adding 90 degrees in 2 to 5 degrees we get 315 so these are the four phases that is 45 degree 135 degrees 225 degrees and 315 degrees okay 315 degrees so these all phases four phases are at a separation of 90 degrees using the separation so that they can be distinguished easily at the receiving end they can easily be demodulated because of the separation in phases without any mixing so that's why we call it as quadrature phase shift keying, unlike to binary phase shift keying, where we use 0 degree and 180 degrees only. Now look at this. This is a sinusoidal wave. This is uh, just to explain you the concept. 
so you see here that uh, this is uh, 0 degrees and here it is uh, 180 degrees and here 360 degrees if we see that these are the points uh, of degrees uh, 45 degrees 90 degrees here and 135 180 you can see it okay now I have told you that we are using 45 degrees 135 degrees if you add 45 degrees uh, if you add 90 degrees and 45 then you will get 135 so these are the four uh, phases that we are using 45 135 225 and 315 that we have uh, seen earlier so what we do we need all these four phases uh, distinguish different phases so there is no mixing now observe carefully we will use this diagram these uh, phases uh, to explain you in this uh, explain you this concept okay so here you see that this if you phase shift this by 45 degrees then this wave will start from here okay this is the this is uh, there is no phase shift in this in this waveform in the sinusoidal one uh, this is just uh, one cycle so if you start from this if i want to shift it by 45 degrees then i will start it i will shift it uh, so it will start from here so i i am using 45 135 225 and 315 degrees of phases so just uh, look at this image very carefully this is the starting of 45 so i use i phase shift it by 45 okay it has it has a phase shift of 45 so watch the shape of this so this wave this in red i have i am using this one two three and four phases different phases to avoid a mixing of these waves so this is 45 degree phase shift okay if you observe this 135 another phase that we are using is another phase shift is 135 so just observe it how it how its shape would be it is having like this it start it will start from here so another phase is having a shape like this this point is from here this and this is the part of wave and now the another phase shift that we are using is 225 so observe its shape is something uh, starting from this below side okay negative side so this is 225 observe it so this is the shape waveform and now the fourth phase that we are using is 315 so observe it it is starting from here from the uh, below the axis below the x axis negative side so it is and just uh, make it uh, fully so these are the four phases that we use in quadrature phase shift key because we are transmitting two bits per symbol so we, because of these two bits we have four combinations and for these uh, four combinations we need four phases okay to avoid intermixing so that uh, at the receiving end it can easily detect these waves in different phases if they were in all in same phases then then it would be difficult to distinguish these waves in same phase so it is again written here that in case of quadrature phase shift keying two bits per symbol can be transmitted the qpsk symbol doesn't represent zero or one okay like uh, that we have discussed in case of ask fsa fsk and bpsk that uh, there were two symbols either zero or one so two amplitudes in fsk two frequencies and bpsk two phases zero and 180 degrees but here two bits are transmitted per symbol so qpsk represents zero 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 one one zero or one one so these are the four cases therefore now we are going to see the benefits of using qpsk therefore transmission of two bits in a single symbol okay we are transmitting two bits per symbol it reduces the signaling rate okay the signaling rate will reduce because every signal every symbol is having two bits in itself we are we have combined these bits we have grouped these two bits so this reduces the frequency of the carrier needed for transmission so we will not need high frequency carrier waves our job will be done with reduced frequency of the carrier and the transmission channel bandwidth is reduced so it, it provides us a high efficiency of bandwidth we can transmit more information because uh, the bandwidth has been reduced each symbol is having two bits 
which is not possible in case of ASK, FSK and PSK where only one bit is transmitted per symbol. So ultimately the bandwidth is reduced. We have more space to allow more information for transmission. So this is a big advantage of QPSK over BPSK and other modulation digital modulation techniques. So in the next videos we will discuss uh, the QPSK in detail and we will also see other modulation techniques. Uh, so keep watching Engineering Made Easy. If you have not subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe my channel Engineering Made Easy. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like the video. See you soon in the next video. Bye bye. Friends, for more such videos, you can subscribe my channel Engineering Made Easy. And please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it. For more detailed information, you can visit my blog. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.